Hello, my name is Dr. Gerald Chodak and this is ProstateVideos.com. In this video, I want to talk about managing a rising PSA after undergoing cryosurgery of the prostate. Uh, let me begin by saying to you that there is very limited good information to tell us what is the best approach. Therefore, you need to be aware of your options, the pros and cons of each of them, and then weigh a decision on how to proceed. So if you've undergone cryosurgery and your PSA is rising or a biopsy was done showing that there's still cancer present, what do you do? Your options are the following. Number one, some men can re repeat the cryosurgery. Now one might ask, and if it didn't work the first time, why should it work any better the second time? And again, it's an option without clear evidence whether it improves survival. Some men may want to be very aggressive and have their prostate removed and undergo a radical prostatectomy. Technically, it may be more challenging due to scarring from the cryosurgery. And if you choose to do that, you want to make sure you go to someone who has good experience in removing a prostate after previous treatment, because it is a more difficult operation and the complications can occur more often. Another option to consider is external radiation or seed implantation. Both are possible. There's limited information about the long-term effectiveness or the side effects with those approaches. But like surgery and cryosurgery, they are certainly things to consider. Depending on your age and your health, you can also consider undergoing hormone therapy. It's more conservative to do, but it does have the ability to control your PSA and may stop disease progression. I'm sorry to say to you again that we just don't have the kind of studies that permit me to give you a good recommendation about what to do or to tell you exactly how effective these or any of the other options might be. Bottom line is, if, you're, if you've undergone the cryosurgery and you have disease recurrence, then you have these options available. And you can also consider even taking a delayed approach or a conservative approach. In fact, if you had a low-risk prostate cancer to begin with, one could argue that a, continu a continued conservative approach without any further therapy is not unreasonable. Yes, there are still cancer cells alive in the prostate, but even untreated, many of the men that we find today will never need to be treated. So having a recurrent cancer after you had a low-risk prostate cancer may not endanger your, long ex your life expectancy. Hopefully you'll find this information useful as you weigh your decisions. And thank you for watching.